So, I started looking into buying a new mouse a while ago, and one of the things I started hearing a lot is DPI. I had no idea what it meant, and when I did do more research on it, it got a lot of jargon and things that didn't make sense. So let me cut over to a visual representation that kind of explains it, but dots per inch means dot, DPI stands for dots per inch. That means when you move your mouse one inch, it'll go one dot, if it's one dot per inch. Or if it's a hundred dots per inch, it'll move a hundred dots across the screen, or pixels, however you want to measure it. But let's jump over to a, a, a shot of the mouse, and I'll give you a better representation of what's going on there. All right, so I got you looking at my mouse as well as looking at the main screen here. This is the Red Dragon Sniper Pro app here. Um, and we have our different RG, um, DPI settings here. DPI stands for dots per inch, um, and for every inch that I move the mouse, it moves across the screen that many dots. So if I adjust this all the way down to off, that then is shown here as being 100. And you can see I have to move a whole ton to do that. So if I go to the next one here, where I push the forward button, it lights up one, and that reflects on the screen to 2,000 dots per inch. So then I move this much and I'm moving all the way across. And if I go up to 3,000, I'm barely even moving and I'm going all the way across. Go to 8,400. Oh, oh, I can't even keep it in the screen. 16, uh, yeah, you're just getting a mere glimpse. Like you can see how much, I don't even know if you can pick up how much this mouse is moving on the uh, camera, but you can see how much is moving on the screen. So there you go, there's an example. This is extremely useful on other things. Hold on a second, let me jump over for you. So let's say we're recording, we're right here working in Adobe Premiere. So I'm set on my standard, the 2000, and if I want to cut just that spot right here, but I can't quite, get it just where I want it, what I can do is obviously like, yeah, you can zoom in, but also we can turn down our DPI and now, oh, I should have grabbed it first. Now I can move it exactly where I want it to go. Look at that. Boom. And then I can just cut. Okay, let's bump up our DPI. <laughs> cut there and then I'm good to go. It's great for things like Photoshop as well as um, all the other creative apps. That is a very useful tool as well as with video gaming you can adjust your things, you can turn around faster, look around quicker, things like that. All right, so that is a general explanation of how DPI works when shopping for a mouse. If you have additional questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below and thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Exploding a noxious gas.